huge congrats to the Queen, who is celebrating her 96th birthday today. And the Palace is celebrating with this photo that they released. Um, and it's not her only birthday gift, as um, Prince Harry's been making headlines again for his latest TV interview. Before we get to talking about Harry, what do we make of the picture? Well, you know, when I first saw that earlier on downstairs on the telly, I thought someone had photoshopped the Queen. Nadia thought they were unicorns. No, because... oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and then I thought somebody had come out from the bushes and stolen the horses. And then I thought, oh, my goodness, it is the Queen with a coat that's too heavy for she her. She just looks like she's got the Pope's cast off. <laughs> it's the in a oddest, weird papel gown. It, it, oh, it but if you've lovely. watched Game of Thrones, it's very Daenerys, Queen of Dragons. Oh, is it? It looks like she's, you know, yeah. Do you think she's, she's reenacting Game of Thrones? I think so. <laughs> Maybe channeling yeah. a little. Do you know what? It's a good way to celebrate your birthday, really, going yeah. all Game of Thrones. Um, but, yeah, we were talking about Harry and um, that latest TV interview uh, with the comments about his granny attracting a lot of attention. Oh, there's so much to get into. Um, what do you make of it, Nadia? Years ago, I was in a restaurant in LA and I got the pleasure of watching Prince Harry through a whole afternoon because he was with oh. a table of people eating pizza. No. And a lovely, foppish, sort of bit silly boy. And I remember we didn't eat our pizza, which is so unlike me, but because we were just <laughs> transfixed by how lovely he seemed and everything. And I still think that of Prince Harry. <clears throat> but actually, I think that yesterday was crossing all kinds of lines. I think... I think today's the Queen's birthday and everybody's going to be talking about what did he mean? And I think, is it that he, he is this foppish, silly boy that doesn't realise what he's saying and how, of course, everything he does say is going to be picked over? Or was this very purposeful? And if it was purposeful, I don't think that was fair to his nan, like, on his birthday, because, as he said, this was a private tea. And then to suggest to all the other people that would love his nan, that none of them could protect her and none of them could look after her, I thought was... I thought if that if he was my brother, if he was my grandson, if he was my nephew, I'd be really proud <laughs> of that. But I'm really I'm trying to, too much no, because what I'm trying to think of this is just a family. And I'm thinking that that family stuff should be should be kept they not the immediately done family. in an interview. They're not just a normal family, Nads, and I I, I honestly disagree with you completely about that. I have made no bones about the Which fact that Which bit do you disagree I, with? I disagree with the fact that it was disingenuous for t to talk about her. You've got to remember that everybody says, well, stop talking about them then, Harry, if you're not the royal family anymore. Do you think that anybody in this world doesn't talk to Prince Harry about the royal family? I don't think it was... I think it might have been a bit loaded when he said, I'm just... Made, you know, the, the fact mm. is, he said, we have a laugh and we love each other, OK? That is for none of us to dispute that that's what his relationship mm. with the Queen is. He's going to be asked that every single day. He said, I'm just making sure the right people around are around her. I think that probably was loaded, and quite rightly but why? so. why? Because the right but people are around her. Why would you give a loaded her? comment so you don't not? like people commenting we... on what you don't, comment on? He doesn't on. care on. about people commenting. He does. He doesn't. They, they say all the time, no, leave us alone. The press, <laughs> they don't. The press are the most vitriolic I have ever, ever known about anybody about Prince Harry and Meghan. They've lessened on Meghan a little bit now. It's mostly on Prince Harry. And I cannot, for but the life of me... Do you know that might be because he's making a few mistakes? No, but, but so, so the way that I, I sort of read into it, and let's not forget those headlines of not that long ago when they had the church service and Prince Andrew was with the Queen and alongside the Queen and escorted her in and sat with her in church. And do not forget the headlines that, ex that existed at that time to say maybe that wasn't the right thing he to do. He had just paid off a girl. You know, he'd, he'd, made, he'd made a payment regarding the court case in, 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 in the States. And so, if you remember back then, a lot of people were saying perhaps that wasn't the right thing to mm. do. The optics perhaps weren't correct. And there was a lot of talk about exactly who it is that is advising the Queen regarding things such as that. So, for all we know, and we, can't, we are not within Harry's head in any shape or form, but it could be that he is he's talking in regards to that, because could we were be. all wondering could what could be. What happened. I would say about the Queen is she seems completely compassmental to me, and I believe that the Queen believes Prince Andrew. Now, of course, we were all horrified to see Prince Andrew there, but she's the mother of him, and I think she was actually making a statement saying, this is my son well, and I believe him. Then, then, then Harry's got just as much right to make a statement as the Queen has. We know I think it's a bit she patronising. Doesn't, doesn't I think it's patronising to an older woman. It also may have been, because we also know, and, and we pretty much know, that a lot of his mother Diana's 
um, hatred of being in that family was the men in grey suits, the people around yeah. them all. And I get so that. we know that there could be people around the Queen that his dad and ha William think are fantastic, and that Harry Why absolutely say does that? not Why say that? Why say that in an interview in America? Why not? Is that caring He's... or is that? Well, well let's, he, let's, he ask, does care let's about... ask our royal expert. <laughs> oh, Jane. no, I'm loving this. Is no, it? we wait, 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 hang hang on. Hang on. Okay, I'm not let me writer. ask you this, Jane. Do you think that that was grandstanding by doing that in an interview in America on a football pitch or something? I don't know where it was. Archery. Or, or do you... Archery. Yeah. Or do you think that was somebody caring well. and saying, I really care about my grandmother because I don't... For me, I don't go feel on, that way. Go on, I feel like it was grandstanding. I felt it was um, shoring up the next Netflix deal. I think he adores his grandmother, I think, you know, but I... Listen, there are ordinary people in this country that go and get awards from the Queen, and every time you try and say to them afterwards, what did she say to you? They go, oh, well, that's private. And everything yeah, around the true, Queen true. has always been private and protected, and if you go for dinners at the palace, it's on, you know, like a media dinner or whatever, it's on the understanding that you don't repeat what the conversations are. Remember all the fuss when somebody revealed that the Queen might have, you know, been in favour of Brexit? It was like a national scandal. So, for me, the fact that her own grandson has gone to have a private tea with his grandmother, and I think that's great that, you know, there might have been a little yeah. bit of a, a rapprochement there, but the, literally almost the next day... He's giving an interview on American television, and this is because, in America, their currency for their deal is, the, is his connection oh, to well, the Well, he's not taking family. money from the royal family, he's making his own money. However, however, however but, but it's important to note that he was also given an interview because he was at yeah. the Invictus, Invictus Games. Games. I was yeah. going to say, and look at what we're talking about. Games. We're talking about the Invictus hang Games. Hang on, hang on. Charlene, you've been in television long enough to know that a, a member of the royal family or, a, you know, an ex-member of the royal family, whichever way you want to look at him, he could say, I will give an interview, but it's only about the Invictus Games. You know full well... And they would get he it. ..he can do that, and, and that would be the deal of the interview, and they won't get it otherwise. So he clearly didn't yeah. say that. So, for me, even if he was asked those questions, he could just say... I was really pleased to see my grandmother, like but our too. conversation remains mm. private. Yeah. And he could be absolutely have had that conversation with her about, are you being protected, etc. It could have stayed private. The fact that he's lobbed it out into the public, okay. for me, is twofold. It is having a go at the rest of the family, because there, are, there is toxicity there. And it As is there also... Can we ever, can it we ever is also saying to America, though? I have got the Queen's but ear... The Give me more money Jane, for my Netflix Jane, what we don't deal. know is, as well, and what none of us know, is that there are certain things that maybe Harry, morally, is very much against. He grew up with a father who had openly cheated on his mother. We know that Diana had a manipulative ways in a way to combat everything, but that's how he grew up. We know that there are other stories that have circulated which people aren't allowed to talk about. There are many things and many reasons why I understand why Harry and Meghan, he decided to get I out do. of this country. No, I do. I agree with you. At the moment, in my opinion, if Harry said to the interview, excuse me, I need to go to the toilet, it would be, why was no. Harry going no, to the no, toilet? No, 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 that's he right. ringing? no, no, I, no, I that disagree. That was a little I think, bomb planted. I think he you're... knows it, everyone knows it. And, and by the way, the press... But good that he the said press it, had then. just as big a go at Prince Andrew. It's not, you know... They didn't. They've never had as much of a go at Prince Andrew. On a consistent basis. I disagree. Well, I disagree. Agree with you. <laughs> no, no, agree, no, no, no. We we'll agree <laughs> to disagree. <laughs> Goodness me, you, that's just. Go oh, back there's, and, there's, there's, is there anything to say well, when we talk about Prince Harry? Look at the difference Harry. of what they've go said about Meghan and Kate. <laughs> go back and look at the headlines you and go the stories right. about Prince Breathe. Andrew. Breathe. And Breathe. part of the reason that Prince Andrew ended up having to do that deal was because the media drove it. Mm. And. <laughs> Oh, that's clear. Do you know what I will suggest, mate? Go, we'll, we'll make a cup of tea. You go make a cup of tea. We're going to talk about tea a bit later on. Uh, so everyone can just have a bit of chill.